This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. Hey gang, Larry Vickers, Vickers Tactical Channel. Today I got a really cool FAL for you. This particular one is one that was imported and it was used by the Army of Luxembourg, hence the AL on the side of the receiver. What's really cool about it is, not only is it a rare variant, but it has a lot of the real early FAL features that have long since been discontinued. And I'm gonna take you through a bunch of them. You see the wood butt stock here. Now, FN made FALs with wood butt stocks for quite a long time, so that piece didn't necessarily go away in recent memory, but certainly the pistol grip and the hand guards, they were not used very long on the FAL. This particular one also has a real unique feature, a folding winter trigger guard right here. So the trigger guard folds around to the front and tucks up inside the pistol grip. This style winter trigger guard was also used on the FN T48, which was FN's FAL submission to the 30 caliber rifle trials in the 50s. And politics overcame it. Really a better gun in many ways than the M14, but the M14 was invented here and therefore it was chosen. The T48 had a folding winter trigger guard just like this, folded and went up underneath a groove inside the pistol grip. So this is extremely rare on an FAL, only used in a couple different models. All right, also stripper clip guide top cover here. So remember coming out of World War II, not everybody had magazines. A soldier might have a, a few of them and he needs to have the ability to take stripper clips with live ammo and replenish the magazine. And that's what this is designed for. Bolts locked to the rear, magazines in place, and the stripper clip guide is on top and he can re top his magazine off. Kind of went by the wayside. Also has the downside of exposing the action even more than the standard FAL does. So what you saw is this kind of went by the wayside and a standard top cover that was enclosed on this side and did not have a stripper clip guide incorporated, kind of replaced it. You can see wooden carrying handle. The carrying handle stayed throughout the series with the, with the exception of a couple models, later replaced with polymer. Moving forward here, the sights, the rear sight and the front sight are of the higher type, and you saw this on earlier FALs, most notably that I can see what jumps right out me is the Israeli ones use these earlier style sights like this. Later on, some of the later variants and later contracts, they went with a lower sight line. The German G1 series was something when the Germans it, it employed the FAL for a period of time, they wanted a lower sight line, so that's kind of what led to the lower set of sights that are very common today. Moving forward, it does not have a groove for a bipod like most FALs do, all right? Moving forward to that, has a bayonet lug to attach a bayonet, but also no flash suppressor. Most FALs, later ones in particular, have some kind of a permanently attached flash suppressor. Old FALs like this are very rare in the United States, and serious FAL guys like me, they just love guns like this. Really, really cool. Well over 50 years old, never dreamed that I'd actually have a Luxembourg Army FAL on the channel for your benefit. I remember seeing one of these in a Luxembourg military museum decades ago. Never dreamed I'd have one here to light up for you. Ammo courtesy of Magtech 762 NATO full metal jacket. Stay tuned.
Hey, Larry Vickers here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click here to subscribe to the Vickers Tactical Channel and take time out to check out some of our other favorite videos.